This is a six-legged gravity escapement. It's a unique escapement in terms of its specific design. Uh, there's only one like this anywhere. It's uh, part of a clock named Gravity uh, that I designed and made uh, for an art gallery. But it's an unusual escapement. I thought uh, some folks might be interested in how it works. Uh, it's a, a category of escapement that is pretty much only found in tower clocks, so most folks uh, unfortunately don't have an opportunity to see these uh, kind of interesting mechanisms. Uh, it works differently than most clock escapements in that the impulse to the pendulum is not generated directly from the wheel train or the escape wheel, but is actually uh, the result of uh, gravity pulling on one of those uh, two levers that you see swinging back and forth uh, and uh, giving the, the push based on the weight of the lever. The purpose of the wheel train in this escapement and that six-legged escape wheel that you see turning in the center of everything there up front uh, is to uh, push the lever out to the side in preparation for it to be released and for the lever to push and give the pendulum uh, a little bit of uh, an impulse to keep it going. The six level gravity escapement only generates an impulse on one side of the swing, not both. So it's even a little more unusual than most gravity escapements that work on both sides. The lever that you see swinging occasionally on the right hand side is simply a locking lever. Uh, it is out further than the lever on the left side and it just needs a little bit of a kick from the pendulum to release the escape wheel. When the escape wheel is released, uh, it's kind of difficult to see, but you can see that it pushes the left lever out a little bit and then it locks it out there and uh, then when the pendulum releases it, the gravity of that left lever is what gives a little push to the pendulum and that keeps the whole thing going. The benefit of this type of escapement is that uh, it tends to give a, a very consistent amount of energy to the pendulum whether the tower is cold or warm or hot uh, and the wheel train is pushing with a lot of energy or it's a little bit lethargic uh, as long as it has enough energy to move that arm to the side uh, the arm pretty much always has the same amount of force based on gravity so you get a very consistent type of running. This particular clock has a pendulum that's approximately eight feet long and beats once every second and a half. There's a large governor fan associated with this clock and that is uh, intended to beat up against the air and make sure that the escapement doesn't accelerate too quickly and therefore causing wear and harsh action with the pallets locking. You might notice that there's a little bit of a clutching device in the governor assembly. Uh, on the sequence where it accelerates more quickly, which is every other sequence, you can see that the governor fan actually travels a little bit further after the locking. It's a little bit of a slipping action in there. And that's to dampen the locking to protect it from jolts and, uh, and wear. The weight discs that you see on that threaded rod on the right hand side of one of the arms uh, is simply designed uh, to uh, make that arm stable so it doesn't bounce when it, it uh, receives the impact from the escapement wheel and it locks. The aluminum disc on the left hand arm is uh, there simply to provide a little additional weight uh, to the arm uh, to help determine how far uh, you want the pendulum to swing, in other words the amplitude of the pendulum. If you want less amplitude, you can take that disc off. If you want more, you can add more discs. Uh, but it's uh, a device to uh, adjust the amplitude of the pendulum. Of course, there's always trade-offs. If you put too much weight on there and you want too big of a swing on the pendulum, then it requires more weight to drive the clock as a whole. And then you'd have to get a bigger rock from someone else's garden to drive the whole thing. 
any case, uh, there's more information at our website, curiosityshop.org. Thank you for watching.